So today we're going to make a little lure out of this guy here. This is called a smiley blade. Here's the package here. It is made by Max Lures. Max Lures, maxlures.com if you want to check them out. Let me uh, read this to you. This is exactly what the package says. It says, the smiley blade provides lifelike action at speeds as low as a quarter mile per hour. And they're easily tuned. Use a wide angle blade for a slow rolling wobble or a narrow angle for a vigorous shake and spin. The smiley blade is a tournament proven lure with countless ways to be rigged. Uh, this is made in the USA. Let me get one out here. So what they're talking about tuning, these come in different colors too, by the way. You can bend this. And now see, see what that looks like now compared to this. And you can bend them back. I don't know how many times you can do that before they break. I don't know. But I'm going to make this one. I think I'm going to tune it a little bit more like this. Because as you can see, my first one, it's pretty wide. So all I'm going to do, or what I did, was I just took a little lure body here. And a little bead. And made an inline spinner. So what I'm using... This, I don't know exactly what this lure is because I got it in a assorted box of lures. So I'm not 100% sure what this is, but it is an inch long. And an inch long is approximately two and a half centimeters. I've got a number six treble hook. I got a couple of little beads here. I'm using green translucent. Use whatever you want. And the wire I'm using, and again, you can use whatever you want, but I am using uh, number 10 wire, which is 124 pound strength. Way more than I need, but you don't want to go too thin because this stuff will bend up when you catch a fish, and it just keeps bending, and you don't want that to happen. So these things can be rigged. I've seen them on um, walleye rigs, all kinds of things. Very simple. You can buy this guy with this little guy in the back here. This is, uh, I think they call it an R-Bend. You can make one yourself. Looks a little different. And I have a video on how to make that. And I'll, I'll stick a link to that. But all you got to do is stick your hook here. Actually, I am going to put, just like I did on the other one, A little piece of chartreuse, chartreuse tubing. Slip that over your hook. Stick your hook through here. And then put your body on. Slip your body on here. Then you just close this end up and put that end through and pull that down. That's all there is to that. What I like to do is now I've made my bend long enough so that there's a little bit of a tag sticking up there. And I can take that tag and I can bend it. And I will do that with a pair of pliers. Now see how I've bent that? That way this body can't come right off. Now I'm going to clip this so it's not sticking way out like that. But now this body can't come off because what happens is you've got this here, this is where your hook would be. Fish grabs a hold of that, starts going back and forth. He can shake that body off enough where that end opens like that then he will get off you lose your fish hook, you lose your fish and that poor fish swims away with a hook stuck in his mouth 
Now I have a video, I'll put a link, I have a video on how to make these. So this is not really how to make this, this is just showing you the smiley blade. I'm going to put one of my beads on here. I'm going to just slide a bead on there. I was going to put a bead there too, I forgot to. It doesn't really matter. It gives, a, gives it a little more color, but the main thing is it, allow, it makes this spin easier. So this just flips over there. You just put it in. Where's my camera? You just stick it in there like that, and this thing flops around, as you can see. It doesn't look like it's going to work, but it does. Trust me. <laughs> so this should give it a quicker spin than this one. And I have caught fish with this one already. And then all you got to do is your end here. Got to make that little loop, which is easy to do. You can do it with a pair of pliers. Again, I'll have a link to how to do that in another video. You can also use the tackle tool, which I prefer. And I'll put a link to this tool because I'm not going to explain how to use it right now. Cut that little tag end off, and there's your lure. It's a goofy looking thing, isn't it? But trust me, it'll catch fish. That's all there is to it. And believe me, they do catch fish. Hey, I hope you make some of these. I think this is a cool little product. It's not very expensive. You get a pack of five of them. Uh, I can't remember what I paid for them now, and it depends on where you get them, of course. But uh, you can get them at most of your local tackle shops. Um, I'm sure Bass Pro Shops have them. I think I probably bought these at Jan's Netcraft. I don't know. Hey, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel. It will help me out loads. Thank you very much. Have a great day.